Hey guys, <clears throat> I just wanted to share with you guys a, a spiritual dream that I had. Um, this is my first time uploading to a Facebook or, or YouTube or anything of that nature. Um, I had this dream about two months ago, a little over two months ago. And um, at the time, I, I I understood it was biblical and it was from God. Um, but I, I had some things I needed to clean up in my life. And in the last two months, give or take, I feel like God has put me on the straight and narrow path. And I feel like that's why I'm releasing the video today, even though it was two months ago. Um, with that being said, I've watched videos from as far back as 10 months ago to two days ago where people were having uh, dreams and the title claimed something along the lines of Jesus is coming back or rapture dream or something along those lines. Now, my dream itself was not a rap. I don't think it was a rapture dream. I think it was a forewarning of this quarantine and of God's wrath coming soon. So technically speaking, it wasn't about the, my, my dream's not about the rapture. Um, I've seen a couple dreams of people that are very similar, very similar to mine that have uploaded to YouTube within the last six to eight months. Um, with that being said, uh, I'm not trying to scare anybody with this video. Um, you can take the information as you, as you wish. I'm not going to argue with you in the comments. If you completely disagree with it or think I'm crazy, that's totally fine too. But I want to get the message out to those people and the people that have had these dreams and the people that maybe they're lukewarm Christians right now themselves and they need to wake up. Maybe they'll see my video versus maybe somebody else's. That's the point of this video. That's the only point. It's all love. I just want to be obedient to God and put out this message. I feel like he gave it to me for a reason. And in the last three or four days specifically, I have seen probably 15 to 25 videos like this. Okay, so from here on out, I'm going to make it very short. It was a very short dream, but it was very vivid. So this was the dream. I'm in a deep sleep, um, and I, it seemed like it, ha it took like five minutes for this whole dream, maybe not even that long, for this whole dream to take part. The first part of the dream that I remember is, and I remember this very vividly, I'm standing on a... Um, on a beach in the sand. I didn't pay attention to anything. What I was wearing, all I could see was it was like an island. There was, there was like trees behind me. I'm standing on the beach this way, and then there's a body of water in front of me. And I think it was New York City. And I, I'll get to that in a second. The connection why I think that, um, but I can't be for certain. Um, and right away. The, vi the dream was so vivid, even though I was asleep, I, I, I could tell that God was trying to speak to me. I had no doubt in my mind that this was from Jesus or God or both, um, and they wanted me to do something with it eventually. I could tell right away, um, or at least I didn't have any doubt. With that being said, um, I noticed there were other people on this beach, but for whatever reason, I never really took any notice to them. I took one one or two little glares at the, at, at, at the, at the skyscrapers and then the body of water, and then... I immediately just turned around. I, I want to make this very clear. I was not fearful of being there, even though I could tell that a storm was brewing. A very, very, very strong, possibly, you know, Jesus coming back type of storm was brewing in the beginning of the dream. Um, but I, I was not fearful at any point that I get scared or feel like I was getting persecuted or anything like that. I felt like it was just honestly a warning. Um, and... I start to walk away from the body of water, and I know, I can feel, I can almost hear it. There's, there's people screaming at their kids, you know, get out of the water. Oh my God, tidal wave. It's gigantic. You know, just, just straight chaos, okay? I never look back once. I never look to my right. But on my left, I notice an animal jumping into like where the high tide was where the water had came back down over, over time. And there was a puddle of water, and it was a, it was a baby shark jumping like nose first, in, into into this puddle of water and I, I i stopped and just looked to my left and when i did so it turned into like an alligator and then when it made eye contact with me it like grew like um grew a little bit wider and into like a python's mouth but it still had like alligator legs and a tail it wasn't a shark anymore which was odd and then i noticed to the left of that i see this clubbed foot and it's like burning on fire and um, it's like a like a little club looking foot, okay? And I look up from its left foot straight up. And as I'm looking up, I realize that it's a Statue of Liberty. And it is burnt from head to toe. 
and it has its it has its torch, but there's no flame. And it just has the most lonely, sad, like look of anguish on its face. And I remember thinking to myself, does America get beat up? What's going on? Keep in mind, this was two two months and like five days ago, give or take. And um, this was before the outbreak happened here. So this was before in, like how life is now um, when this dream happened. And then out of nowhere, as I'm hearing all the chaos, it's overcast, the waves coming in, okay? Um, a big bolt of lightning just boom, just out of nowhere. I'm still looking at like Lady Liberty and like this, this demonic creature here. And um, here comes an angel and it's so bright. It's so bright. And I was not scared. And it came down. It didn't say a word. And then, like, in, as I'm taking in what it looks like, I can't see its face, but it's just a big glob of just bright white light. And next thing I know, this other being comes flying down with, I believe, and at the time I thought it was a, um, possibly like a cane. But as I've done more research, I think it's, a, it's the sword that comes out of his mouth, uh, of Jesus' mouth when he returns, the double-edged sword. Um, I could be wrong. If you know something more biblically correct, please uh, comment in the comments and help me understand that. This is all for understanding as well. I just want to get the word out there. And when he came straight down, I wasn't scared of him. I was still about five to ten feet away from him. And uh, he slammed his, his, his sword into the ground and the whole earth shook. Not just the island, not just the water, not just... New Jersey, New York, wherever wherever I was, California, etc. The whole world shook, but I didn't move. And I could hear like, and something like in the movies where you hear like all the people flying in space and they're screaming for their lives. Like, oh my gosh, help me, help me. And it's just total chaos. And when he slammed his, his sword down or, or his cane or his fist, I'm not sure which one it was. I'm not trying to make this up. I'm, I just really don't, it, it's two months ago. It's very unclear exactly what it was. But he says, I'm coming back soon. And I remember for a day, I took it in. I prayed about it. Nothing. Um, and then I asked my aunt um, if she she or her, herself or anybody at her church could help interpret the the dream. And they, they gave me their best interpretation. Um, but it was so deafening when he said, I'm coming back soon, that in my mind... Even if there was other meanings and other reasons for the dream, maybe for me personally or for the next person that I'm sharing this to, um, I think the main goal of his dream was to let me know that it's Time it's coming. Short. Time is short. Time is very short, um, just like most of the other videos say. Um, and so, yeah, guys, I, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Um, but I'm not here to argue with anybody. I'm not saying... That he's coming back this date because nobody will know. I'm not saying it's going to be this year. I'm not saying it's going to be next year. But what I am saying is get your life straight. Repent. Straight and narrow. Let's go because it's happening. Things are happening in the world. If, you, if, if you've been paying attention to the signs of the end times, things are happening. Okay? I just want to get that across. So God bless. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Thank you.